In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to get the most out of your Surface app. The Surface app is actually super powerful if you know how to use it properly. If you're new here, my name is Aldo. I do work at Microsoft, but I also love making videos to help people use their computers better. With that being said, let's get into this. So the Surface app comes pre-installed on uh, all new Surface devices. If you don't have it, I'll show you how to download it at the end of the video, but I'm gonna simply open mine up. What you'll see here is that I have the Surface app. It's gonna show me my device. In the top right-hand corner, I've signed in to my account. If you haven't, I would recommend signing in so you can have it uh, connected to your account. Um, down the bottom is a lot of information. You can see I have two devices here, the Laptop 4 that I'm currently using, but on the right-hand side, I can also see my Surface Pro 11th edition too. So all my devices that I've signed in on, I can get information from here. So that's really quite cool. Uh, on my Surface Laptop 4, we're gonna jump to this guy because we are using it today. Uh, the first thing you notice is it shows you the battery percentage uh, and same with my Surface Pro 11. If you had other devices like a Surface Pen or a Surface Flex keyboard, you could quickly check the battery charge of each of these devices. Really cool when you have accessories like the pen and the keyboard. One thing that I do wanna show everyone is in the top right hand corner, if you drop this guy down, you can actually pull up all of your device information. This is things like your device name and your serial number, uh, your UFI version, all that sort of stuff. And there is a quick button to copy and paste it. So if you ever need to copy and paste your device information somewhere, like you need to log it in for a service, you need to send it to your IT guys, you can just launch the Surface app and get all your device information here and it's really easy and neat to see. Um, saves you from having to fiddle around with a whole range of things or read the serial number off the back. Um, they've just made it so easy to go and find, copy and paste. Underneath this, I'm gonna drop this guy, I'll close it back up. There is an option for battery and charging. Now, this is an older Surface Laptop 4, so it doesn't have smart charging, but the newer devices do. Essentially, what that does is it uses AI to understand when your computer is on charge most of the time. When it is, it will automatically limit that battery charge to 80%. It won't let it go all the way to 100. And this is really to save the battery life or the overall battery of your computer. And if you wanna charge it to 100%, you simply go into the battery and charging section and you have a button here called turn off smart charging. Once it realizes your patterns and if your computer's on charge for a long time again, it will start limiting it one more time. Um, Again, on my older laptop, it doesn't have it, but on the newer devices, it does. If you ever need any help and support, you can actually just go on here and get some information to start using or fixing your computer. The first thing it says is, of course, check for updates. This button is red, so it's telling me that I need to update my computer. But if your computer is running a bit sluggish, you can always just go into help and support. And then the first option is always check for updates. It usually fixes most things. If um, you've done that, you're fully up to date and you still have some issues, you can simply select on the get help option. And this is gonna launch into the setting. We can quickly ask Microsoft for some support. Uh, you can go ahead and put a problem in here and this will start a ticket for you. The cool thing is you can also see all of your request history in the top left-hand corner. So you can see your search and your request history too. If you wanna do a bit of your own troubleshooting and not raise a ticket, you can also select on the Try Toolkit, and this will download or take you to the downloads page of the Surface Diagnostic Toolkit, which is another way you can go and download um, and get more information about fixing your device for yourself. On this website, I simply scroll down, it says Run Diagnostic Toolkit. You'd go ahead and download this. We're not gonna jump into the toolkit for today, but here you can see there are so many different ways of getting help and support for your device. The first one, of course, is just making sure it's up to date. The second is simply selecting on get help and raising a ticket with Microsoft. Or if you wanna do your own troubleshooting, you can use a troubleshooting toolkit to walk you through your own steps. Let's hide that. And hopefully you can see that there is a lot of value here that you can get um, if you just know where to look. There is also the overview of your warranty and your protection plans. Obviously, this is an older device, uh, so it shows me that my warranty ended uh, in 2023. But of course, if you've just bought a device or you wanna know how much warranty you have left, you've got a nice little tracker here that shows you how much warranty you have left on your device. 
This will also show you if you have things like um, additional warranty support, like complete or, or EHS or some, uh, some things like that. Um, but it's good to see how much uh, warranty I've left on your device. Underneath Discover Offers, this is if you're looking at upgrading or buying some um, new things from Microsoft, you do have an option to check out their offer website. I'm not gonna jump on that right now, but what I am gonna look at is of course the option for pen pressure. So if you have a Surface Pen, uh, you can actually go ahead and customize how much or how little uh, pen pressure sensitivity works or writes on the screen. Uh, I don't have my pen with me, but what you'll see is that if I have it lighter, it only takes a little bit of force to get some ink out, or if I wanna write really heavy, it will require a lot more force for me to get some pen uh, ink on the screen. And if you just wanna reset it back to factory, go ahead and hit that reset button. And the last option on here is of course your privacy and your settings. So this is where you can choose to share diagnostic data to Microsoft or you can read the privacy statements, but there's a lot in here that you can use. Of course, down the bottom, this will show you when you have all different Surface devices connected. For now, I have my Surface Dock 2. And the cool thing is that this shows me the, again, the information of that device. So I can quickly copy and paste it. If I needed to update the, uh, the firmware on the dock, there'd be a button here helping me update the firmware. And of course, I can get information on the port status too. So say for example, I was having an issue with one of my ports. This would tell me if that port was available, unavailable, if things were happening. And of course, if I needed to get help and support, I'd simply select on the help and support option, and then it would take me back to the get help area, where I can use this to ask a question. Because we selected on the Surface Dock 2 option, it automatically populated with Surface Dock 2, and it gives you some quick links down the bottom here. If these links don't actually help you, you can hit the button of contact support, and this just wants you to put a bit more information and it'll start a ticket for you. Um, and there you go, that is so many different ways that you can use the Surface app. Now, if you don't have the Surface app installed on your device, I will show you, show you how to download it now. We're gonna close out of this guy. I'm gonna press the start button and I'm gonna head over to the Microsoft Store. From the Microsoft Store in the top option where it says search, I'm simply gonna type in the word Surface App. And you'll see here, it says Surface App. It is a free download. Um, if I didn't have it already downloaded, instead of saying open, it would say download. And there you have it. That is how you can use the Surface App to better use your Surface device. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.